What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to speed up iOS 8 on your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. Now the first thing you will need to do for this is turn off your spotlight search, and this is the spotlight search right here. So this is what you use to search for your apps. And the way you do this, you have to go to Settings, then we have to go to General, and Spotlight Search, which is right here. And then, we uncheck all of these. And then you can just go there, click off it, and if we go here, it's only saying Search iPod, not Spotlight Search. The next thing we're going to turn off is called Background App Refresh. And this, again, is in Settings, General, and then we look for background app refresh which is right here and then all you have to do change the green toggle to that and now app refresh is off the next thing you do is turn on reduce motion now what this does when you move your device around on iOS 8 or iOS 7 you notice the background moves so if we go to settings and then you will need to go to general and from here you go to accessibilities which is right here and then you look for reduce motion which is right here and what you want to do is turn that on so make sure the green is on as you can see mine is here the next thing you need to do is clear your storage space and the way you do this you have to go to settings general usage which is right here and then we go to storage manage storage right here now on iPhone and iPad it might might be different. From usage, you will have to go to storage and then manage storage. So right here. So from here, you can see this is everything on your device. And it's everything that you use on your device. Now, next to it it says how much megabytes it does take up. Or gigabytes, for example, I've got 4.2 gigabytes of photos and for some reason and 1.3 gigabytes of music now what I'm saying you to do here is simply if you don't use an app just click on it and click delete app and then delete app again and you delete the app and it will make your device much more faster because you're going to have less apps and if you don't use them then there's no point in having them and that is everything I have to show you you might be thinking that's really short how is that going to speed up my device just think about everything we've just done it will speed up your device as I have seen a massive increase of speed on my iPod Touch 5th generation since I've done these steps. And it also does save battery. However, if you do want to know how to save battery on iOS 8, I have made a video about 15 or 16 steps on actually how to save battery on iOS 8 and it does actually work. You can go ahead and check that out. It will be linked in the description. And yeah, be sure to follow me on Twitter and like my Facebook page as I post gaming news and technology news daily. Also be sure to check out my gaming channel where I'll post daily, check out my FIFA channel where I'll post daily, and finally be sure to add me on Snapchat where I'll just show you what I do throughout my day. So yeah, it's been Casual Savage here. If you would like to request a video on iOS, then let me know in the comments below. This could be on iOS 7 or iOS 8, and I will definitely make the video for you. So yeah, it's been Casual Savage here. I hope you've liked this video. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.